what, what was what was the the, the frustration? Yeah, where was that coming from? Um, I mean, as a competitor, I mean, you can ask anybody, any one of those guys on the on the field, they would want the ball in their hands at that time. So, um, just being a competitor, that was me. But overall, it was coming down to uh, I want to win. As a competitor, that's that's what it comes down to. You want to win every game. Did Nick feel compelled to have a conversation with you after that? Um, or, or was you know, or did he was he understanding of, of your emotions and how you felt at that moment? I mean, as a team, when when you lose the way we lost, I mean, you you have to have corrections and things like that. I mean, we made corrections, but overall, I mean, it just came down to that that one drive, that one play wasn't the reason we lost. I mean, when you turn the ball over four times, it's hard to win in this league. So I mean, that's what it came down to the turnover battle. We're still getting to know you and learn your personality. That's our first time seeing you look that frustrated. Um, What's your process like during a game to make sure it doesn't come out at the wrong time? Uh, I mean, that that just shows that I care about the game. I mean, I, I love the game. I mean, I love going out there competing. I, like I said, I mean, you want to win every game that you can. And um, losing that way, I mean, it's rough. You, you weren't targeted <laughs> at all, I think, on the last last two drives and everything. And, you know, were the Giants doing anything differently to take you and Dallas out? I mean, was that something that you noticed? I mean, I – Quarterback has to make his reads. I mean, I'm not a quarterback. I can't tell him what to read. I mean, he seen what he see, and he made the right read. So, I mean, the ball went to who it was supposed to go to. Have you noticed any change in how teams are playing you? Nick says the passing game plan starts with you in Dallas. So, have teams kind of figured that out and kind of ramped up the bracket coverage? Have you noticed any of that? Oh, I mean, teams, they, they throw at all different kind of things at you. I mean, you just have to adjust to it. So, um. Every team is different. Every team has their way, their way. Some teams they have their guy that they want to follow, follow players. Some teams they have their way of bracketing people. So it just depends on the team that you play. What are you seeing behind the scenes with uh, with Rager, especially this week after you know the way that the the game ended? Well, I mean, he he started chipping away. I mean, he he came in every day. He's still getting better. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to getting one percent better. You can't just sit up there and just let something like that just nag around. I mean, we're on to the next week now. That was last week. That's in the past. Devontae, it's been a long run. Thirteen. This will be a thirteenth straight game. You have a bye. Has there been any? Has there been any challenges and? Not looking ahead to having that week off to rest physically and mentally and focusing on this game. Um. I mean, for me, this would kind of be like my last my last week. I mean, being in Alabama, this is probably my last week playing. So, I mean, I get to this point, I start feeling some things, but it's just like I, I've been here before. But, I mean, it's it's all about adapting. I mean, you take care of yourself throughout the season to get to this point. So, when you get to here, you won't feel as bad. So, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't just start here. It starts all the way from week one, taking care of your body. I, I will get a chance to talk to you next week. Who's your husband winner? <laughs> you know who I'm going to say. Man, I'm always gonna roll with the tide. And what's your? Uh, how would you? How would you grade Brian Kelly's Louisiana accent? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hear it. Didn't no, it. I didn't see it. <laughs> um, I plan on it. Anything else? As you know, you're gonna watch someone else win the award. Do you think back and what that whole process and experience meant for you? Uh, I mean, it, it's a it's a blessing, and just whoever it is, just those guys that's finalists, just knowing that they've been working hard to get to that point. And I mean, like when you work as hard as those guys are working, and you get there, it's just like you know that you're doing everything the right way, the way that things are supposed to be done. Uh, one, one last on the uh, one last on the on the on the last play, uh, Doug had mentioned. I mean, I'm sorry, Doug. Nick had mentioned the route discipline on the rub just kind of wasn't executed. Do you feel like that had anything to do with why that play wasn't wasn't pulled off? Um, yeah, I mean, I could have won better at the line of scrimmage. Uh, if I would have won better at the line of scrimmage, it would have left no doubt about where the ball was supposed to be or what he's seen. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's on me. I mean, went at the line of scrimmage, and we probably wouldn't be in this situation. If I could ask one more Heisman question. Uh, you kind of broke the mold of it not being a quarterback, running back type player uh, for that, and, and and you said your vote's going to be, I assume, Bryce Young, right? Uh, how hard is it for a non-quarterback to win that award? And, and, and what's it going to take for a non-quarterback to win that award again? Um, I would say it's, it's pretty hard. I mean, just because everybody labels it as a quarterback award, I mean, the, the next – person to probably be a running back or somebody like that. So, um, I mean, just for a receiver or anybody like that, I mean, it's hard. I mean, if you're a receiver and you're going to win it, then your quarterback has to be doing something right too. So, I mean, it's hard to win it as a receiver.